Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> this is your friend Dano. Welcome to Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Today we got something for you. Bruder! Yeah, we talked about this uh, brand before. Uh, I'll tag the uh, videos at the end. But uh, what we talked about was these uh, bigger ones. I've got boxed ones and then these loose ones um, uh, via my sister. And uh, so anyway, so we've talked about those. This is also a brooder. And then we're going to talk about ones that I've had for a long time. And uh, that's when this one here. Now, um, brooder is... Uh, Started 1926, uh, 1926, 1926 uh, by Paul Bruder, and uh, then later on his uh, son Hans, Hans Bruder, 1950, came on board. And by 1958, they started making plastic models. Otherwise, they were making uh, die cast stuff all along. And they are in uh, Germany. This is a German company. And uh, actually today, they're one of the few companies, toy companies, still around in Germany. And Firth, Firth Germany is uh, kind of where they're out of. And uh, so there you go. There's a little history. Uh, way back in uh, 2014, 2014 is uh, where uh, I got some information uh, they, uh, in 2014, they had sales of, uh, like 75 million euros in sales. So, uh, quite a good company. They do quite a bit of stuff, uh, a lot of construction and, and, uh, implement and, uh, farm stuff, you know, is what they do. They don't do per se, uh, regular, regular vehicles, uh, you know, as far as, uh, just, you know, regular, you know, buy off the showroom Buicks or whatever. <laughs> so anyway, so what we're going to talk about is this uh, Series 3 Long Wheelbase 109. And I tell you what, uh, there's not a lot of information about this. Now, this is probably made late 80s, I think. I Like I say... I could not find any really information other some other than uh, an auction house selling out uh, some of these in excellent condition. So this is, as far as I know, uh, a complete um, rendition or uh, variation. Uh, and as far as I know, it only came in this green and whatever color that is orangish color uh so yeah this is the only one they seem to be around quite a bit uh they, you know they're quite readily available but they do call for a pretty penny um i believe i bought this one off ebay this is one i've had for a long time and i i don't remember where it comes from uh but uh yeah so let's just take a look around the the vehicle we did take a peek at the bottom here uh, big, big, hard plastic tires. Everything is plastic except for the uh, steel in the axles there. But uh, very nice representation of the leaf springs up front. You can see the ladder style, you know, um, frame there. We've got the, uh, you know, the kind of some of the bottom end of the engine. A lot of the transition transmission, and then the uh, the I like the uh, brake. That's the drum brake, handbrake, uh, right there at the end, right before the uh, drive shaft, right after the transmission air transfer case. A uh, little wonk on the uh, <laughs> angle of that uh, universal shaft there, but hey, uh, it's all right, it's there. And then some exhaust and stuff like that. There's a number, I'm not sure what that number stands for, probably a production number of some sort. Some more leaf springs in the back there. Uh, you know, the exhaust, tailpipe, and then, uh, you know, pretty nice res representation 
of the rear bumper. Now this one's got the uh, hitch on there, kind of toy-like, not really very uh, um, realistic. But anyway, but it does have the step down side uh, little uh, foot pedal there. A uh, little extra support there for the um, grab handles on the on the the toy just to make it more sturdier. But they have them there. As you notice, they do have those uh, fold down single foot step pads uh, on the whole vehicle there. The uh, front one's down, the back one's up. Uh, same on the uh, other side there. Kind of a nice little touch there. The, the rims are a little, uh, yeah, not quite Land Rover, but that's all right. We'll get around to the front here. The front bumper's black. Nice. All right, so then we have a um, winch on the front here. I think I can get this to come off. Yeah, well, it kind of clicks on there. Ugh, there we go. All right. So a nice little winch on there. It just pulls out. Uh, what is that? I don't know. Not even a foot, so that's pretty neat. Then, um, and that's a different piece that just attaches to the uh, to the front bumper. And then uh, we have the uh, front grill, which is uh, uh, fashioned after the Series Three. Yellow headlights in there. The uh, let's take a look under the hood while we're here. It does have an opening hood. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. Two-tone colored interior on the uh, engine. Not really sure. Is that a petrol? I think that's a petrol. Yeah, because here's the air canister. It goes over to the carburetor. Hoping that's a six-cylinder for this big of a truck. <laughs> there you go. So not too bad of details in there for molded plastic. And uh, so we go around the vehicle here. Nice, nice wings there. They're very, very nice. The little buttons here pop onto the wings there to kind of hold it shut. Pretty neat. Uh, looking at the side here, pretty nice representation. It's very, uh, very good scale. Uh, they've got everything proportioned right. Uh, this one does have opening doors. Pretty crafty. Now it's just the front doors. That uh, to have the back doors open, you got to have a really strong uh, B pillar there. So in a in a kid's toys, and these were these were meant for kids to play with. So uh, back in the 80s, they're a little bit. This would be a little bit delicate for uh, you know to pass some of the testings today. But no interior glass, no glass at all. It does have the Alpine uh, window opening, but there's no glass at all. And so we'll move around to the back here. Nice details here, uh, you know, uh, no painted in details. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got the back here, nice load area with the uh, bench seats in the back. Nice swinging open door there. Nice, nice. But uh, very good details all the way around. Very good to you. Uh, molding, molding details. All right. So then the other side is pretty much... Uh, Opposite now. This is a uh, right hooker. Pretty, pretty nice there. Different color for the steering wheel. That's nice. It's a separate piece altogether. But uh, oh, it's got the grab handles on the back of the uh, front seats there for the rear passengers in case things get rough out there. All right, let's move on to the top here. So this is another separate piece here. Uh, kind of a, uh, you know, a roof rack with a little extra part here. Got some lights molded in there. Got some uh, pickaxe and a shovel. Pretty neat. So that roof rack is a separate piece. And then they have another full spare tire, an actual tire from what would fit on the axle right there on top. And then a uh, little uh, luggage compartment. I don't like clipping that because it's plastic. I don't like it... Uh, want to be able to open it up and look at it but I don't want to move that plastic too much more than what it has to be so you can look at it so all right so there you go oh let's talk about the deco so this is known as the photo safari um uh, you know uh brooder uh otherwise you know 
like I say, I really couldn't find anything. Google and eBay and stuff like that. I really couldn't find much about these. But this is kind of what the stickers that would uh, come on this. Um, Palm Beach. And they are just label stickers that, that go on there. Wagon 3. And, uh, yeah, Photo Safari. So, that, like I say, this is the only... Um, color only variation only uh, sticker combo that that you would find uh, on these vehicles so there you go so I've got something uh, neat and special for you today just recently I purchased another one and uh, this actually cost me quite a bit we uh, I bought this off <clears throat> excuse me I bought this off eBay and um, the feller wanted quite a bit, and this is exactly the way it was and looked like when I got it and what he advertised for. And, I, uh, you know, uh, I know these are kind of hard to come by, but, you know, <laughs> practically everything's missing. So, anyway, I finally did back and forth and whatnot. We finally got, you know, got it home and everything. Um, I think it was under $15, around $10 or something like that, but... Uh, but there you go. So let's take a look and see if we can take this bugger apart. Let's see what we can do. I don't, I'm not really sure exactly what all I can do here, what all happens. All right, well, there's the first thing. The uh, roof roof um, box comes off and you can see, you know, a little damn, whoa. Oh, it's gold glitter. <laughs> they were, <laughs> They're going after gold and not a safari, <laughs> photo safari. All right, so one of the pegs are missing. And I would like to, you know, I don't know, customize or, uh, you know, uh, you know, um, restore this. I'm not, not really sure what I want to do with it. All right, we carefully pry this up. They got a little, we'll see this as we get it off here. So this was held on. There's a couple of different tabs there that you just kind of uh, move off and uh, here's uh, it would just fit on that whole big opening there so there we go so we got that off so very nice very sturdy very sturdy so now it had the doors off and they and they just clip on there I'm surprised this uh, the hood is still on there and the hood just kind of snap it's a snap down with a c-clamp as you can see there just a uh, C clamp and then it would just hold in there with with that rod there so we got that off there that's pretty neat uh I don't know if we'll get the tires off I'm not really too concerned about the tires well let's see if we can separate this uh the ch the body the uh frame from the chassis here not really sure exactly how we're going to go about this but hey that's why you join in and uh, friendly, friendly reminder, if you're kind of squeamish, uh, look away. This might get a little bit uh, intense here, okay? Just might get a little intense, all right? Okay, we got it. All right, screwdriver in hand. We're ready to roll. Of course, I don't have my regular <laughs> kind of Phillips screwdriver. I think we could pry this off here. And, uh, yeah, there we go. That was, so the, uh, the up pedals are part of the security how we fasten that frame onto the body so now it's just gonna fall right off there holy cow all right let's set that aside for a second take a look at this frame oh boy look at the rust here yeah there's a beach beach rider got that and this one's gonna be a little wonked but uh, there you go so yeah I'm sure all you got to do is oh yeah there you go just Kind of give those a twist and pull. Yeah, it's a uh, smooth axle. Uh, they didn't uh, put any, um, I don't know, threading really too much. Well, they did some there. there there's some on there to kind of give it some traction of uh, to hold on there. But uh, there you go. And those are two-part wheels. That uh, ins insert there was pops right out. Oh, look, we might be able to just pop that right out, huh? Check that out. Yeah, so a two-part wheel. Well, that's an interesting uh, pattern down in there. Yeah, so there we go. We've got that, and uh, the other axle is same same thing. And so let's take a look at this uh, chassis. 
get it around here so you read it. So just a really nice piece, uh, piece of plastic. You know, it's not too bad. Uh, you know, it's got a little flex to it, but it's pretty sturdy otherwise. All right, well, let's uh, get moving right along here. We don't want to make this video too awfully long, but this is kind of interesting. All right, so we're just going to slide the interior off from the uh, body, which kind of hooked in. Remember, the headlights were in the... Uh, in the fenders there so we kind of had a loop there but there you go there's the whole rest of the body pretty nice so we can now that we've got that out give, give it a spray and make a different color and so here we go so here's the uh, interior which is kind of a pretty hefty piece of plastic you know like say here's the headlights and uh, looks like we can just uh, yeah those just come right out so uh, maybe not <laughs> Got to be careful, I don't want to break anything. Yep, that just popped out. There was a little, well, let, let's look at here. So here, here's the interior and uh, nice, nice shifters there. So here's the orange part of the engine. And then uh, here's the other, the other, the gray part that fit on top of that, just like that. So you could take that off and paint that a whole different other color. Yeah, so there you go. That's pretty neat. And then here's the dash, which has some pretty good details on it. Not too bad. Two whole pods there. But yeah, it had a little, uh, just a little nib nib clip there that uh, kind of hold held onto the uh, plastic parts. No, no real. Well, I guess hey, we could count those as pedals. The other side doesn't have it, so yeah, we <laughs> we could count those as pedals. There you go. Three dials in the in the middle so nice pretty nice well there you go we've got it all disassembled 17 minutes in we're not going to put this back together on film i'll have to do that by <laughs> by myself but there you go ladies and gentlemen do you got one of these yeah are they hard to find do you have it in the box it came in like uh uh like a shadow box without uh film on it or anything i believe and uh so there you go. Thanks for joining me. We got the Bruder Photo Safari Series 3 109. Pretty snazzy for a one of Wednesday. There you go. One and a half. <laughs> one and a half one of Wednesday. All right. Remember now, you got to keep that slow traffic right and have a great rover day.